high-speed railways, suburban trains and airport express trains. The link between all of these is that they are all some kind of railway. Millions of people use it every day and try to reach their destination as quickly as possible. But these networks are extremely expensive to build, and the infrastructure can cost billions of dollars. In this video, I present to you the 10 largest and most expensive railway projects in the world in the future. Number 10. Tren Maya. Mexico is mostly famous for its beaches and interesting structures and is visited by millions of tourists every year. Accordingly, it is necessary to build a suitable public transport instead of the existing car network. This is the Tren Maya, which is actually almost completely completed and stretches for 1,500 kilometers through 18 stations in the central part of the country, touching tourist attractions. Construction began in 2020, the first phase was handed over at the end of 2023. Since then, several sections have been opened and put into operation, and the entire network will be ready by September 2024. It will connect the Caribbean with the historic Mayan sites from which it takes its name. The project was widely criticized for environmental protection and damage to rainforests, but the government spent $28 billion to implement it. Number 9. Texas Central Railway. Texas is one of the most populous and largest states in the United States, it has six major cities, and is now one of the richest thanks to the oil fields. To reduce car traffic on the busiest Dallas-Houston line, it would be necessary to create a railway, which is the Texas Central Railway, this would be a high-speed railway in the United States, 390 kilometers long. The railway's technology is based on Japanese Shinkansen trains and N700S trains, which will also run when ready, at a travel speed of 299 km per hour. In the beginning, it was a great pleasure that it would be implemented, but in 2023 Amturk finally took over the developments related to the project, and in 2024 the Japanese government and Joe Biden also support the implementation of the project. The costs are estimated at $33 billion. Number 8. Maglev Train Japan If we already mentioned the Japanese Shinkansen, then let's talk about the fact that $55 billion will be spent in Japan to build a maglev railway between Tokyo and Osaka. It currently takes two hours to travel between the two cities, which would be reduced to 67 minutes by the new magnetic railway. In contrast to the traditional maglev train seen in Shanghai so far, this would use a completely different technology, which essentially requires different types of rails and trains. For this reason, a test track was created, on which the Mazens Railway exceeded the top speed of 603 km per hour, thus becoming the fastest train in the world. The Maglev Railway would first be built between Tokyo and Nagoya in 2027 and then extended to Osaka in 2037, setting a record in railway history. Number 7. Mumbai, Ahmedabad Bullet Train The Mumbai Ahmedabad Bullet Train is a high-speed rail project that will connect India's financial center, Mumbai, with the largest city in the state of Gujarat. If it is completed by 2026, it will be India's first high-speed railway line, but the country will want to build even beyond that. Construction began in 2020, the first section from Surat to Bilamur will open in 2026. This will be followed by the northern section from Surat to Ahmedabad in 2027 and finally the remaining southern section to Mumbai will open in 2028, creating a 508-kilometer long railway. The trains will be able to transport passengers at a speed of 320 km per hour, whether on land, via bridge or tunnel, and will be based on Japan Shinkansen technology. The price of the entire project is $24 billion. Number 6. Suburban Rail Loop Let's talk about Australia's largest mega project, which is being built in its largest city, Melbourne. It is currently possible to travel in Melbourne with trams and suburban trains called subways, but these mainly run in the city centre. The Suburban Rail Loop, or SRL for short, would be a mega project that would connect parts of the suburbs. The construction of the project has already started in 2022, the tunnelling works will be completed soon. But the price of the project is already higher than expected, it is currently estimated at $50 billion, but with the further uncertain expansions, this could rise to $100 billion. It will open in three stages, SRL Airport in 2033, SRL East in 2035 and SRL North around 2050, and there is also a negotiation for an SRL West. Number 5. China High Speed Rails China has the largest high-speed rail network in the world, which is currently 40,000 km long. It is important for the country, and it is certainly more environmentally friendly and faster than air transport. 
and the fastest traditional trains also run here, but I already made a video about this before. But they want to continue building their network and not only in China, but also in Indonesia, for example, where this happened in 2023. By 2035, they want to expand the high-speed network to 70,000 kilometers, with projects such as the Sichuan Tibet Railway or the Changcheng Kumking Railway. The country, on the other hand, is serious about these developments, as they plan to spend $105 billion on them in the coming years. Number 4. California High-Speed Rail California is the most advanced economic and technological center of the United States, the headquarters of the world's largest companies, and many large cities are located here. But the main San Francisco-Los Angeles section can only be done by plane at the moment, roughly 1 hour 25 minutes. A train would do this in 3 hours, while it is possible in 5 hours by car. In addition, the train would be more environmentally friendly and compatible than air transport. The problem is that the country currently only has such a railway between Boston and Washington, high-speed travel is not so well known here. This is why the California High Speed Rail project was created, which would be delivered in several stages, the first in 2033 between Merced and Beckersfield. By 2040, the length may even reach a total of 1,200 kilometers by extending it to other major cities, as well as with a privately financed Los Angeles-Las Vegas line, otherwise known as the Bright Line. The price of the entire projects can reach up to $100 billion. Number 3. Grand Paris Express Paris, the capital of France and one of the largest cities in Europe, currently has a huge metro network. This is what the city demands, as many people live here, mainly in the city center, but also in the suburban areas of the city. Here, however, the network is limited. But the Grand Paris Express project was created for this purpose, which aims to expand the current networks. The project will also play an important role in the 2024 Olympic Games, so part of it will be handed over this year, but other parts will remain until 2030. The network includes six expansions, including the construction of two new subway lines. The total expansion is 200 kilometers, at a cost of $45 billion. What has not yet been completed and is only planned as indicated by a dotted line, Number 2. High Speed In the United Kingdom, the construction of a project started in 1987, the first phase of which has already been completed. This is a very ambitious project and will cost billions of pounds to deliver. This is now known as the Channel Tunnel, the undersea railway between the UK and France, where Eurostar trains connect Britain to the continent. We call this section High Speed 1, but they want to build two more sections in the future. The second phase is to connect London with the central part of the country such as Birmingham and Manchester. The third leg would run within the central area and connect Liverpool with Manchester touching Leeds. The second and third phases will open between 2029 and 2033 and will cost £56 billion, but prices could be higher due to the continued slowdown. Number 1. GCC Railway the Middle Eastern countries are the world's largest oil producers, and depending on this, the world's richest states are also located here. All this is in the desert, the distances between cities are huge, and it can be done primarily by plane. But the transportation of goods and passengers requires a more efficient solution, and the 1,200 km long railway line along the bay would serve this purpose. It would have a part that connects the Emirates and the UAE. As you can see in the pictures, the project is partially completed, but some parts are still under construction. The construction is made difficult by the hot temperature, so they can only work on it at night. In addition, tunnels must be drilled and special tracks built, and the trains will be equipped with sand filters. It is expected to open by 2030, at which time it will cost $240 billion. In addition, many other railway projects are under construction. Which of the ones you saw in the video was your favorite? Write it in the comments, and if you liked it and would like to see more similar content, support our channel with your subscription. Thanks for watching, see you next time.